Hi guys, this is um, my review for the Cold Steel Recon 1. This is a very sexy knife, as you can see. Now, um, the site says that the blade, this, um, this part right here, is made out of Japanese AUS 8A stainless steel with a black Teflon finish. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah. Now, the black, I, I like. I really like this color. It makes the knife look so much sexier than, say, something like this Ranger right here. This knife goes along with the handle quite well. Now, I want to talk about the handle. The handle is made out of um, what I believe is t toughened plastic. Now, don't let that fool you. This handle is very, very versatile, very, very comfortable to hold. These um, grooves along the sides of the handle uh, make it, you know, make, give you, it gives you a good grip on the knife. So, using it for tough, rigorous labor, you, it won't slip out of your hand and accidentally injure a, a nearby bystander. Also, um, the knife is priced at $104.99, which may be steep for some people, but you know, the knife is worth it. Compared to other knife brands like Swenger or Buck, the, the knife cold steel um, quality is quite, quite high, quite high quality knives. Um, the, the uniqueness of their knives is that they are built to last and built to withstand rigorous labor with an exception of a few cheaper models. Now, this knife is, um, what's special about it? Well, not special, but what I like about it is it's got thumb studs, right? So, if I were to try to open it with one hand, it's, um, quite easily accomplished. Also, this knife is featuring, it's a new version, so it's featuring the all-new Triad Lock, which, in contrast to the old one, can take up to, can take up to 400 pounds of force and weight. What I mean by that is if I were to stab this into a cliff and pull myself up, I would easily be able to pull myself up since it since I weigh about 160 pounds. Now, compared to a other knife, as I said before, like this Wenger, this is a Wenger, um, Ranger 68, you can already notice some differences. For example, the, the blade is much thicker and it's both serrated and has a plain edge, whereas this knife only has one single plain edge. They, they do have contrasting um, purposes though. This is more of a pocket knife. This is something you would use if you were an electrician or another job that would require to have something to stab or to slice. Also, the lock on this one is different. As you can clearly see, the lock is back here, which is not different from the um, cold seal button, but this button is pressed to release the lock, fold the knife, whereas here, the lock is very strong and very tough. And the uh, release is this groove here. You press in it with their thumb, and then you fold it in. Now, what? Um, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Folded, it is a bit. Um, it is a bit cumbersome. This the blade bulges out of the handle quite a bit, whereas here it, it fits in. But then again, um, this is um, this is a pretty good defense knife. So I don't think you would worry too much about how it looks folded up. I would too worry about how it looks like this. The blade is four inches long. The entire knife itself is nine and three eighths inches long. And yeah, as you can see, very very smooth. I'll hold it in this saw for you. You can see it properly, like that. And that's my review.